Hey everyone, are we live? Let me just check on this. Yeah, it looks like we're live, fantastic. I am coming on live today to speak to you guys um, immediately after finishing a session with a new client of mine. So let me just close this one note that it's letting me know about here. All right, I wanna know if you see yourself in this situation. So I wanna talk to you today about complacency, comfort and complacency versus leveling up versus leveling up and challenging yourself. All right, so um, spoke to a new client today. This is a, a gentleman, he is in his late 20s. He is an entrepreneur. Um, he started his company back in 2012 where the first year he made $6,000, but he really believed in his product and continued to work hard and to push and to innovate and to create and to grow and to instill systems um, and to expand his mind, take care of his body um, and to really live this expansive life that really entrepreneurship is very much about. Entrepreneurship is about change, it's about challenges, it's about innovation and um, so he started out in his first year at 6,000 and by 2017 he had grown to 1 million in sales. All right, so at 1 million in sales, he was awesomely happy. He absolutely loved achieving that goal. And he took like a three month trip to Europe and it was fine because he had employees and he had instilled these systems in his business. And he started to become complacent, all right? He stopped putting he stopped creating momentum in his business. So think about if that's ever happened to you because it does happen to high performance professionals. Now you may not be an entrepreneur, you may be an entrepreneur. Um, you may be an entrepreneur who you know passed 1 million and you made it to three or five or even 10 million and you're thinking to yourself, this is it, I've done it, right? So even high performance professionals, we can reach our goals and then become comfortable. And comfort breeds complacency, all right? Think about that, comfort breeds complacency. And that's in all areas of our life, okay? So it is in entrepreneurship, in our professional life, it is in our relationships, so like our intimate relationships, it is in our health, it is in so many different areas of our life that comfort bleeds, breeds <laughs> complacency and what is complacency I actually I'm just gonna switch to an, um, a page I found here um, where there's a definition so Webster defines complacency as satisfied with how things are and not wanting to change them so do not confuse this I took some notes here do not confuse this with being content an individual that is content recognizes that they do not need more to be happy, but continues to challenge and better themselves. I consider myself a very content person. Um, we we'll go into that into another video, but you continue when you're content to still challenge yourself, all right? You continue to still push yourself to a limit, conquer your fears, seek out challenges, take chances. You can be content, but you're not comfortable and then complacent all right so again complacency is satisfied with how things are and not wanting to change them um, so being content means being happy being complacent means refusing to work to improve a complacent individual is never working to reach their potential because they feel that it is pointless instead they go through the motions and do the minimum always blaming external things for their shortcomings so the bottom line with this one, in between these two definitions, is be content in all that you do. I encourage it. Um, but never ever stop challenging yourself and seeking situations that take you out of your comfort zone, that make you uncomfortable, and seeing them as opportunities, all right? So, um, so he described it, so this new client of mine described this situation as, you know, his biggest mistake he ever made in his business. He had a grand time doing his travels, and mind you, we deserve those vacations, those travels, we deserve all of that, and absolutely take that opportunity, right? 
But when we actually settle into comfort, settle into complacency, think about a time when that's been you. When have you done that? In what area of your life are you doing that now? You know, what happened was he stopped creating momentum in his business and his business sort of coasted for a while. He continued to make a million dollars and a million dollars and a million dollars and he had what he considered the four hour work week um, because a lot of the income became passive. He was selling a product and his income became quite passive. He would answer a few emails and things like that, but it was still more or less a four hour work week. Momentum stopped building the business. And then do you know what happened in 2021? His competition rushed ahead of him, okay? He was coasting, but his competition rushed ahead of him in business. Has that ever happened to you? And his sales went down. I'm just looking at my notes here. His sales went down, and that's what sparked a fire in him, all right? So he was no longer able to sustain even the momentum that he had built. You know, he had generated this excellent momentum by pushing and challenging himself and, you know, building his business, and then it coasted and then it declined, all right? So let's think about that. Um, he went from one million, it went down, and now he wants to level up his life. Uh, this is kind of silly, but I need to grab, um, actually, let's just finish off here. He now needs to level up his life. So he contacted me with the Energize Executive because we wanna start with your mind and your body. Your mindset has to change. We need to shake things up with your body. You need to become the most limitless, lit up and legendary version of yourself. So I do offer a group program, start September 1st. Um, my battery is running down, so let me just grab that. Apologies. So I do offer the group program. Um, sorry about that. I should have really pl <laughs> planned for that, but I was so excited to share this with you guys. I'll be honest. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell them <laughs> about this, you know, and share this experience and share this because I think that this will resonate. I really think it will resonate um, with you guys. I think it resonates with a lot of people, especially high performers. Um, and so what I want to do is, you know, let you guys know that he, sorry, it's a lot of like things, I'm not used to live videos on Facebook. There's a lot of things that keep popping up. It's really kind of unexpected. Um, let me just fix this, sorry. I think it was a power source issue um, that the other thing sorry guys really took me off my own momentum there um, but hey we're live <laughs> so you know it's not pre-recorded or anything like that and I do want to share this with you guys so bad <laughs> that I forgot to plug in my laptop <laughs> after doing a zoom with this new client so um, so I'll, I'll create a checklist for myself I'm still um, starting this process and uh, you know really excited to share with you but learning the technical aspects as i as i move along just wait in a month so i'll be always plugged in everything will be cool so what i wanted to share with you from this experience that i had with this new client is you know where in your life has comfort bred complacency think through that think through that um and what would it look like for you if you continued on in that complacent way of being, you know? So what would that look like down the road? How will it affect your profits? How will it your, affect your professional life? How will that complacency impact you down the road, you know? Because he coasted for a while. This guy coasted for a while smart, smart young guy, right? Um, and then things started to decline, all right? So so then he's contacted me. We're gonna work together in the Energized Executive. We're going to do a one-on-one. -on -one. So um, 
my program can be offered one-on-one. -on -one. It's a slightly higher rate for the one-on-one -on -one time versus the group program that starts September 1st. I will be posting more information about that um, in, a future, in a future live or in a future post. But I do have a group program that will help you really level up your nutrition game and your physical body and how you feel in your physical body and how you bring yourself into every day through supercharging your nutrition and really optimizing, you know, every aspect of your cells so that you can bring the best of you to your entrepreneurial venture, to your job, you know, to everything that you do. Specifically here, we're looking at performance in work, um, in our work and what we're bringing, right? So, yeah, so, um, so yeah, so we're working one-on-one -on -one with him. Uh, we just started. DM me if you'd like some information about that. I would love to share with you about what I can do for you um, and how I can help you achieve the next level. Um, so that's what he's reached out to me for. We're working one-on-one. -on -one. The group program starts September 1st. We'll have a larger group for that. So that's really exciting too. But this guy was really ready. He is done with the coasting. He is done with the complacency. He is ready to get the momentum and to get started. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, and encourage you to continue challenging yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit, grow, right? So I believe that happiness is a lot of times found in our own growth. Um, so there we go, that's my live for today. If you have any questions or would like to contact me, um, I'm really, really uh, grateful I got to share this with you guys and because it made me think of a lot of things as well. So. Take care, and I'll see you in the next live video. Oh, hey, you made it to the end of the video. <laughs> well, I have a lot more where that came from, and you are going to enjoy all of it. So be sure to click through to the next video. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and smash that notification icon so you always know what's happening. This is Agatha for Fueled, and I will see you in the next video.